First, you need a tapestry needle. It's a blunt tipped needle with a big eye here. And what you're gonna do, what I like to do is I, I twist the yarn with the ply, kind of double it over on itself and it makes it really easy to thread the tapestry needle. And then what you're gonna do is use the tapestry needle to sew the tail into the crochet that you have already stitched, keeping an eye on making it inconspicuous. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to insert my hook and I kind of am trying to go with like the flow of stitches Okay, kind of pulling the yarn, but not too tight. And then what I like to do is make sure that I change direction. So I'm gonna sew down the stitch as well, kind of over. I'm gonna follow the loops where I can. Now there are, there are some quote unquote rules about how to weave ends in in crochet. I find crochet stitches to be so sort of unusually shaped that every time I try to follow rules for weaving in ends, I end up confusing myself. So I just go with it and as long as I feel like I'm hiding the ends well enough and securely enough, then I'm happy. And so you can see I'm kind of coming back in the direction I started in so that I kind of followed a U shape here at the very least, that's what I want because changing direction is what is going to help keep the yarn from unraveling and coming out. Now, something to make sure about is not to pull your yarn super tight as you're weaving in the ends because as you can see, that just distorted the entire fabric right there. If you find that you've been a bit heavy on the pulling, just tug things so that that tail gets loosened up in there again and then what you do in the end is you kind of do want to tug a little bit. You want to cut the yarn close to the end without risking cutting your stitches. Snip that yarn off, give it a little bit of a tug, and that strand has been woven in.